Now this decadent dessert was inspired by a very humble beginning. So when I used to eat my Cocoa Pops when I was little, I always loved that chocolatey milk that's left at the end of the bowl. Oh my goodness, that always made me smile. And I wanted to make a dessert an adult version of that. So here we go, my friends, let's make my Cocoa Pops chocolate cheesecake. So there are three main components to this dessert, the chocolate base, the creamy center, the decoration on top, and all of them have a little Cocoa Pops twist. But let's start with the base first of all. So I'm gonna pop my Cocoa Pops into my blender here and I'm gonna use some digestive biscuits as well. This is like the typical biscuit that you would use for a cheesecake base. Pour that out. Now we add some more Cocoa Pops. To bind it all together, I need to melt some dark chocolate and I'm using a bowl set over some boiling water here. And then I also need to melt some kofa. So kofa is found in like the butter section of your supermarket. It's actually a vegetable shortening made out of coconut oil. Now, once your kofa is melted, you can pour that into your mix here and then scoop your melted chocolate into there as well. Give all of that a mix together. So at this point, we need to shape our very fancy chocolate base. It looks fancy, but it's very easy if you follow my little tips here. So I'm gonna use a spring form tin here. That's one of these guys with the clip that makes it much easier to unmold later on. Now take a third of your mixture, put it in the bottom of the tin, and here's a little trick to getting a really smooth base. Take a cup or a glass and just really kind of pat down the mixture and smooth it out till you've got a nice thin layer down the bottom. And then this just needs to go in the fridge for like two or three minutes until it's firmed up. Now here we are back again. It's nice and firm in the base here. It really does not take long for that vegetable shortening to kind of firm up in the fridge. Now we need to build the sides. Lift your tin up and then put a little bit of the Cocoa Pops base just onto the side of that tin wall here. Use your glass to press that in again. You can kind of patch up any holes with your fingers if you want to. So this is gonna go into the fridge now for two to three minutes again. Now when I bring it back out, you can see that that section is nice and firm. So keep repeating the process section by section popping it back into the fridge for two or three minutes each time until the whole side is filled in. Now this whole chocolate base is done. Look at that, it looks impressive already, I love it. Uh, okay, this goes into the fridge while we make the filling. Now the filling is really fun. So I'm starting off with my Cocoa Pops and then instead of milk here, I'm going in with some coconut cream. It kind of gives us a bit more of the richness that we need for the cheesecake filling. And also when you stir it around, that same magic still happens where the coconut cream soaks up all of that Cocoa Pops chocolatey business. Oh my goodness, so fun. Now, this just needs to sit for five minutes to allow that flavor to infuse. And now I can strain off the coconut cream. So pour the whole lot into a strainer and then really kind of smush it down until all of that yummy coconut cream comes out the bottom. Use your spatula to make sure you scoop everything from underneath the sieve. And then here we go with our super creamy Cocoa Pops mixture here, which I need to infuse now with gelatin. So put the mixture into a saucepan and add in two gelatin sheets. So that's these guys here. This is platinum strength gelatin. You can also use powdered gelatin here as well, but you have to be really careful with the gelatin. Just let it sit there for five minutes. Don't heat it up or anything yet. And then once it's soaked, then you can give it a mix and then turn the heat on really low and just stir it until the gelatin just dissolves. Now, once your mixture looks like this, you can just set it aside while we make the rest of the cheesecake filling. So I'm starting off here with a whole load of cream cheese and I just wanna whip that until it's kind of all light and fluffy. Add in the cocoa powder. I like to do this bit by hand because otherwise you kind of end up with a big cocoa powder mess everywhere. Trust me, it's happened to me many times. Now you can mix in your sugar, brown sugar, vanilla extract, and then use the mixer again to get everything nice and fluffy. Mix in the Cocoa Pops infused cream. And then finally, for a little bit of acid and tang, I'm gonna add some lemon juice, just like three quarters of a lemon is fine. And then look at this silky, creamy filling. Oh, I'm already so in love with this. Spoon that into your firm biscuit base. And the great thing about this cheesecake is that it doesn't need to bake because that's a whole nother headache in itself. You just smooth it all out, pop it into the fridge. You do need to wait, so you'll need to wait till tomorrow, but I mean, patience is a virtue. Now this is kind of an optional extra, but if I'm gonna go fancy, I'm like, let's go all fancy. So I'm gonna make some chocolate Cocoa Pops bark to go on the top of the cheesecake. You need to melt some dark chocolate and then spread that out on some baking paper, sprinkle over your Cocoa Pops and then just pop that in the fridge until it's firm. 
For the presenty part, you kind of get in here and have some fun by like smashing up the chocolate, which is fun. And then sprinkle that all over the center of your cheesecake filling. I like to make it a bit fancy and give it a pop of color by adding some raspberries and then a final little sprinkle of some icing sugar. And then this is my Cocoa Pops chocolate cheesecake. Oh my goodness. I mean, look at this. It's so exciting. Do you know what I loved about this when I was testing it is that that creamy filling through the center looks exactly like the chocolate milk that's left in your bowl when you're eating Cocoa Pops. Oh my goodness, I love this so much. It's so cool. Oh. So fun yet so delicious. It's like that really lovely like cereal multi chocolate flavor infused into the cheesecake flavor. Oh, it's like Cocoa Pops but grown up and delicious and fun. Mm. See how happy I am with myself? <laughs>